All right, so today we're gonna to go through a very simple one. How do you use an iPad like this over here for a second screen for either my iMac behind me or a MacBook Pro? Very easy, I'm gonna go through how you can do it so you can actually mirror your screen like I'm doing right now. Let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you exactly how to mirror the screen behind me onto the iPad sitting on my lap here. And it's a very, very easy process. If you, you know, the one caveat is you actually need to have a certain version of the iMac or a MacBook, a newer version of that, or you have to have a newer version of the iPad um, to make this work. But if you do, it literally takes, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to set up. A lot of times it's already set up for you and I'll go through what you need to do to set that up. But if you want it to be, see how it's mirrored here? It's exactly a mirror image of what's behind me. I'll show you how all this works and why you may actually want to use this, what I use it for, just to give you some hints out there. It's a very small screen, but I do use it. Um, anyways, let's get into it. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. And then really quickly, I just want to go through the requirements to do this. So this is basically called Sidecar and you can see the requirements here. You do need Mac OS Catalina or later. So, and then also a compatible iPad using iPad OS 13 or later. So 13 or later, you can see it there. And then here's a list of some of the things that are available. MacBook Pro 2016 or later, MacBook introduced in 2016 or later, MacBook Air 2018 or later, iMac 2017 or later, like, unless you have the 27 inch, which is 2000, late 2015, it also works. The iMac Pro, iMac Mini, 2018 or later, iPad Pro introduced in 2019, iPad Pro all models, and then iPad 6th generation or newer, iPad mini 5th generation or newer, or iPad Air 3rd generation or newer. So just wanna let you guys know you can pause this screen and actually read the additional comments as well. All right, so here's a screen of my iMac, and this is the desktop, as you can see. So the first thing you want to do, and this is something I can't really show you, but you just want to make sure that you're logged into the same iCloud account on both this iMac or any Mac that you have and also the uh, iPad that you have there. So make sure that they're both in the same iCloud account, and that's number step number one. Step number two is going to be make sure that they're both set up to be using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is set up. So up here I have Bluetooth and then I have Wi-Fi up here. They're both on. Same thing with your iPad. Make sure they're both on. And also make sure they're connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. It needs to be the same Wi-Fi network. All right, so inside of your Mac, what you want to do is you want to go up to your Apple icon, click on System Preferences. You'll see it there. Find General right here. Click on that. And inside of here, mine's already, mine's already been selected, but down here you'll see allow handoff between the iMac and the iCloud devices. So down here you'll see this little icon and you wanna make sure that is checked. And that's all you have to do for the iMac side or your Mac side. All right, so for your actual iPad, well, all you have to do is, you know, just to make sure this is on, is you go into general in your settings, you can see it here. And then inside of this list here, you're gonna find something saying airplane handoff right there. It says airplane handoff, click that. And mine's checked again, but make sure that the handoff is green there. Make sure it's on and you are then ready to go. And that's all there is to it. All right, so once all that's been set up and you're all ready to go, you wanna go up here to the AirPlay icon. You can see it right there. You wanna click on that. And all you have to do here is it says uh, Craig's iPad. You can see it there and that's what it's called. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Craig's iPad right there. We have mirrored it over to my iPad, which I'll show you here in a second. That's all you need to do to get that part done, and I'll show you here in a second. You can also, though, once you go back up here, once it's been, you know, connected, you can see in here that you can actually mirror it, you know, just a complete mirror, meaning it's going to be a representation exactly one-to-one, -one, or you can use as a separate display, which I'm going to show you here how to, you know, what that means. But those are the two options you have there, so I hope that does help. All right, now that we have it set up, let me just show you. So again, I do most of my work on my primary iMac screen. You can see my cursor here in the middle. Um, this little screen on the left here, this iPad screen, is too small to do normal, you know, everyday work, I think. What I like to do is, let's say I open up a Google Chrome here, you can see. Now, I actually, let, I'll get into this in a second, but I like to, you know, the screen is very small here, and I made it that reason because it fits on the iPad. So I usually shrink, this is a Chrome browser. You can see it's on my iMac here. All I have to do is I have to go over to the right and I slide it over here. Now, now look at my iPad. See it coming in over there, over here? You can see it moving. So again, it's coming in. So I just drag that all the way over there and I can position it in there any way I want. But I made it small so it fits in there without me having to kind of refresh everything. Now I can go in and I can scroll on the iPad. You can see my cursor now is over here on the tiny iPad. So 
I um, typically use this for stocks, things like this, or watching YouTube videos on the side. Um, it is taking the processing power from the iMac. And uh, there's other things you can do if you really wanted to. If I, if I scroll all the way down, you can see I have my dock down there. You can barely see it, but it's tiny. Um, I can pull up other programs, you know, like for instance, I can pull up iMovie on this and it's now it's on my iPad. Um, you know, the problem is it's, it's going to work probably pretty good. Um, it's going through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but the, the problem is, is, you know, it's too small. It's almost impossible to figure things out here. So I would just close this. I'm not going to use it for this. I'm going to use it for more, you know, what I said before, stocks and everything else. So anyways, what I wanted to do is just show everyone how to do this. It's fairly simple. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Can you use it or not? I don't know. I mean, I use it every once in a while. It's a feature a lot of people just don't know about. All right, so what do you think? Easy? Yeah, it's super easy. So again, is this for everyone? No, you might want a bigger screen and there's other ways to actually connect a secondary screen like a monitor to your, your iMac. But this is something that, you know, an iPad just laying around, a lot of times I'm not using it at the same time and I want to actually, you know, let's say I'm looking at stock quotes or I'm looking just, I want a web page up or even, you know, a music page or something. I can go ahead and play it on the smaller screen where I'm not actually doing a lot of work. And then on my big screen behind me, I can actually go ahead and use, use that for my work. Um, not a big deal, but I just wanted to show people that, you know, it's available, it's out there. A lot of times these are things that are so easy to do, but people just don't know they're available or they just didn't read about it or something. And they're just like, hey, that's pretty easy to do. So that's all I wanted to show people today. Most people that are my viewers probably already know this, but hopefully this will bring in some new, new kind of beginners in, in you know, the, the whole Mac crowd that may not know this exists. It's a cool feature. If you have both devices, definitely check it out. We'll talk to you soon. I make a couple videos a week, as you know. Check them out. Tons of Apple stuff. Talk to you soon. Peace.